Uh, welcome to the workshop entitled Youth at the Forefront of Technology Development. And what actually is kind of funny, I think this has been mentioned several times in, in almost every, every workshop. Um, who am I? I'm Lisa Cooper, and I am the founder and managing director of a company called Leadership Foundation. And Leadership Foundation is a consulting company and think tank focusing on diversity and diversity management. Now, I, I really feel lucky uh, to be able to facilitate this, uh, this workshop. Is, it, is that the sound okay? Yeah. And in this workshop, uh, we're going to take a look ahead and maybe take a look to the side, maybe take a look back, and really try to get a, a better grip on how we can and should capture what's going on. Yeah? And what is going on is, uh, is pretty much a, is a phenomenon. It is a tremendous... Uh, uh, growth and really affinity that the youth have with technology. Uh, and we don't really know what's going to happen and where it's going to take us. And today we're going to hear from some innovators, we'll hear from some experts, we'll hear from some entrepreneurs who have great ideas, we'll hear from some that are even teach using technology to teach kids how to learn better, and also uh, creating uh, very different and innovative platforms. We'll also hear from those that support and fund the entrepreneurs, because a good idea is nothing unless you've got some capital, right, to get going. And we'll get some of their insights, too. And we'll try to also take a look at uh, some of the downsides of technology. Because we all know Facebook is, is great sometimes, but it can really be damaging. But before we go on, I have to say, as the mother of... Okay, you get to make it go to the next slide, not me. As a mother of uh, two boys, age 17 and 13, I, I really understand and see technology and the development in a totally different way. I mean, they were born sort of before Facebook, yeah? And it's funny, because anytime I buy anything that has to do with technology, I just give it to them and set it up for me, yeah? Find the apps that are right and show me the shortcuts. And they're sort of like my in-house IT department, yeah? And, uh, and there's one thing that they also really don't understand is how they can do it without having read the instruction book. Because I have to read the instructions if I'm really going to understand how to get from A to B or to solve this problem. But I also think it's interesting how they communicate today. And it's a lot different than how I communicated when I was a kid. And how they also intuitively know how to take those little games like Game Boys and PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't even know how many there are anymore, but we keep buying them for them, don't we? And they know how to play all the games, yeah? And this is how they learn English, yeah? And this is how they learn different theories. And this is making them develop in ways that I don't really know that we truthfully understand. And one thing that I think is really cool to reflect on is when they're 50 years old, what's the footprint that they'll be leaving on us? And uh, I just hope when they're 50 and I'm, huh, whatever, that I'll be able to hang. So, and that's a little bit of what we're going to hear about today. And it's, uh, we've got a really good, um, uh, I think a phenomenal panel here. And the workshop uh, structure will be as follows. We'll start with a little information from the Honorable uh, Ambassador, the United States Ambassador to Norway, Barry White. And why Barry White? I mean, Barry has done a lot for social entrepreneurs and a lot, he knows a lot in funding startups. And he'll be able to give insights from a different perspective. Then afterwards, we'll go to Archna, who has probably one of the coolest jobs <laughs> if, you're, if you're interested in technology. She's working in Silicon Valley. Woohoo! Where it really happens. And that's kind of the story that she'll, she'll talk about. And um, a lot of her experience there and also with Shipstead. Then we'll go right to the point and right to a specific case and uh, hear from Rolf, who himself uh, was a very well-known entrepreneur and is now working with a pretty cool startup that's using uh, uh, game-based learning tools, so using technology. And my kids knew all about it, so they were wondering, why, why are you looking at a, at a game-based learning tool on the internet, mommy? Uh, and then we'll break into a panel discussion, and I think we're going to have a standing panel discussion rather than a sitting panel discussion, because then you'll see us better and our energy is a little bit easier. Uh, and then we'll add some, some young blood here, or, and two guys uh, who are doing some pretty cool projects. 
uh, one on sort of a co-working space and another one that's keeping politicians uh, responsible. So I think we've got a pretty cool afternoon for you here. And I really encourage questions because that's what's going to make it good. I want this to be a dialogue. This is not going to be one of these one-way communications. So I encourage you to start thinking now of the questions you have. And I've got some uh, little notes here, if, or little notepads, or what, what are these called again? Post-its, that's what they're called. Uh, so you can write down your questions, uh, and we'll make sure to integrate them.